Well, Friday, me, Nick, and Dave are headed back to Cape Girardeau, Missouri to highlight the fifth annual Dancing with the Show Me Stars. Now, last year, we took our newscast on the road, and we filmed out there, and we are going to do the same thing this year. Oh, we had a ton of fun down there last year, getting to see it, or see everybody, see all the dancers ahead of time. And we then did have a lot of show. fun. Yeah, we had, a, we had a great time down there. Now, this fundraiser, though, benefits the Community Partnership of Southeast Missouri, and Brooke Slyer joins us with how they serve the community. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Evan Dave. Well, at last check, the group has raised $47,000 so far. Now, it serves 11 counties in the region, helping everyone from kids to families and seniors. And here's a look at the work the organization is doing. The Community Partnership of Southeast Missouri is working to help locals caught in the cycle of poverty. One way to do that is prevention, making sure kids stay in school and become happy, healthy adults who contribute to the community. Melissa Stickle, the executive director for the group, says the first step is identifying these youth who are usually age 12 to 17. Particularly uh, disconnected, vulnerable uh, youth in our community who may not necessarily be connected with any other organization or any other program. They want these preteens and teens to join their program called Thrive. It centers around 40 developmental assets found by the Search Institute put youth on track to become successful adults. And these assets uh, range from being connected with school or having uh, at least one person in their life that cares for them to even reading for pleasure and constructive use of time. The Community Partnership of Southeast Missouri teaches these assets in fun ways. So we've um, taken the youth on field trips up to the zoo and to baseball games and basketball games, and also we've uh, brought them out to do community service. The hope is for these participants to learn while being uplifted emotionally. There's someone out there that cares for them, notices them, um, is thinking about them. The Thrive program also reaches out to preteens and teens in the state's division of youth services who are struggling with behavioral issues. It's not juvenile detention. It's a little bit different than that, um, but they are essentially in the state custody placed in a residential treatment. While these participants also focus on the 40 developmental assets, the program's goals for them are different. It's leaving the Division of Youth Services with enough tools to return home and not have to go back. And I'll have more information on the Community Partnership of Southeast Missouri and the Thrive Program on our website after the show. That's WSILTV.com. For now reporting in studio, Brooke Slyer, News 3. Well, for some it is a pretty loud morning, heavy rain, a lot of thunder.